I wanna show you why what's inside this box is so cool and how it could potentially change the audio that you record. There are three factors that affect the quality of the audio that you record. The first is the microphone that you're using. The second is the preamp. And then the third is the transmission system. And that could be a cable or a wireless system. Now you may have seen me use these in the past. This is a Hollyland Lark wireless transmission, kind of like one of those content creation mics that people have where they, they hold it here, they talk, then they take this part and they put it on their camera. Now admittedly, this isn't my favorite system for a few reasons. One, the preamps on this aren't that great. They're only 24 bit, which means if the audio clips, it's gone. And also the transmission system on it is just kind of just, okay. Like it's good for the price that you're paying, but there are better systems out there. Should I test it? This is a test of the Hollyland Lark 150. How does it sound? Does it sound good? Does my Rode NTG that I was using before sound better? The disadvantage with a lot of these wireless systems is that they have a limited range. So when you go onto the spec sheet and you look, they'll have an LOS number, which is a line of sight, which tells you how far the transmitter, the little piece that you're holding, can transmit to the receiver, but the catch is that it has to be a line of sight. There can't be anything that obstructs the view between where you're holding it and the camera that's receiving it. <laughs> we have a uh, we have a secret monster hiding in the background. <laughs> oh, she didn't want it. <laughs> Now, lately I've been using another wireless mic, which you may have seen in my last few videos. And it's the one that I've been carrying with me lately. Oh my gosh, I got cat hair all over me. <laughs> the mic that I've been using recently is the Rode Wireless Pro. And like the Hollyland, it has two microphones or two transmitters and a receiver. But the advantage is that this has 32-bit internal recording on the little wireless transmitter. So if I grab this and I actually hit the button on the bottom, actually it's the button on the top, you'll see that now it's got the little red light and it's recording. So if we switch to this, this is a test of the Rode Wireless Pro microphone. I have it in my hand. How does it compare to the overhead mic that I was using? And how does it compare to the Hollyland mic? Mind you, this is 32 bit. So we have a little bit more flexibility, a little bit more room to play with in case our audio levels clip. Much like the Hollyland mic, these Rode wireless mics also have a line of sight because while the microphones are a little bit better and the preamps on it are a little bit better and it has 32-bit audio, 32-bit float audio, the transmission system in it is still a 2.4 gigahertz transmission system, which is a digital, it's kind of like in that Bluetooth spectrum of wavelengths, which sounds good until you realize that there are other options like this guy. Now this is a much higher end wireless transmission audio recording system. You can see already it, it comes in its own Pelican case, which is kind of cool. Much like the Rode wireless system, this is also a 32, holy cow, look at this. Look at that presentation. Much like the Rode system, the Deity Theos also has 32 bit internal recording on the transmitter. So with this, you get the two transmitter packs and the one receiver pack. Includes two sets of antenna for each of the transmitters. I missed the little yellow nibs. Doing this all live on camera. And I, uh, I think, oh, oh, apparently there is a uh, whole nother layer to this case, uh, it does actually come with batteries. We are setting up. Nope. And this is where what I was saying earlier that you have the microphone, you either have the built-in mics or you have lav mics. You have the preamp system, it could be 32-bit or it could be 24-bit, and then you have the actual transmission system. Now in the case of these guys, if you're gonna do onboard recording, you're not gonna be using the wireless transmission system, but UHF offers an advantage compared to the 2.4 gigahertz band, which most of these less expensive wireless systems are operating on, in that UHF has a larger wavelength. 
So when we talk about penetrating walls or not having direct line of sight with a UHF, with an ultra high frequency system, like what the Deity has, you're gonna be able to send signal through a wall or if there's cars that pass in front of you while you're out doing a street interview or if you're in a run and gun setup where you don't know, you know, maybe like the camera turns one way but you're capturing audio from a different direction, that's not going to affect the transmission of the audio system compared to something like the DJI system, the Rode system, or the Hollyland system. Zero decibels a game mic, three volts. How does that sound? So now what we're doing is I'm transmitting, so you're hearing the transmitted signal from this lav mic through this guy into that. But if I wanted to, because I was worried about the transmission, I could go onto this unit and actually hit record. So I can actually go in and record a backup to each of the transmitters while also simultaneously transmitting to the receiver that goes directly into my camera. Pretty cool. Should we do some ASMR? Welcome to my microphone demo. We are transmitting to the DBTR receiver. This is a test of the DOD Deity. This is an audio test of the Deity Theo system. Let me know if this sounds better than the Rode Wireless Pro or how it compares to my Rode NTG3 that I normally record on. We're gonna do a test, test. This is, oh my gosh, how do I set the level? So the advantage of a system like this is that you can transmit without worrying about interference. So whereas the Rode and the Hollyland operate on a 2.4 gigahertz wavelength, that means the wavelength is really tight, the Theos operates on a UHF or an ultra high frequency bandwidth, which means that the wavelength is more easily able to penetrate things like walls or obstacles. Or if somebody walks in front of that line of sight, that's not all of a sudden going to kick out the signal and prevent you from transmitting to directly to your camera. Now, there are obviously still cases where there's lots of frequencies in the area and the signal will be interrupted. But with UHF, like 550 megahertz up to, I think, 960? 960 in Canada, 663 if you're in the US. So a much higher end professional system if you're looking for more ins and outs, more time code options, more ability to sync up with professional videography equipment. Now that being said, the road system is one that I just kind of like throw in my bag and carry with me when I'm out doing content creation. The Deity system is probably gonna be one if I'm ever doing a more serious interview and need a backup system with that ability to operate on UHF frequencies, then that's gonna be a much better option for those types of scenarios. But if you enjoyed this video, let me know. It was kind of a chaotic unboxing and there's a lot more in this case than I realized because I obviously didn't realize that there was an underneath component with all these extra cables. But if you enjoyed this video, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what gear I should get in next to uh, maybe give a try. And if you like this video, there's a good chance you might also like this video. So check that out and subscribe if you haven't already. And until the next one, go shoot photos. <laughs>